A lot of algebra students make the following mistake. Check this out. First, we are going to evaluate parentheses with negative 5 inside and then to the second power. And notice that for the second question, we do not have the parentheses. So, does it really matter? Of course it does. For the first one, this is how we do it. We have a square right here for the whole thing. So we are going to look at the whole parentheses right here. And of course, the square means that we have to write this down twice. So we have a parentheses with negative 5 inside, and then multiply with another parentheses with negative 5 inside. And now we are going to work this out. Negative times negative gives us positive, and then 5 times 5 gives us 25. So the answer is positive 25. All right. However, for the second one, when we don't have the parentheses, the notation is that the two the exponent right here, this is only for the 5 here. So that means we are going to do 5 times 5. Because again, the exponent 2 is only for the 5. All right? But we do have this negative in front. So let's go ahead and bring that down. So as you can see, we only have one negative right here. And if we multiply it out 5 and 5, that will give us 25. And then we still have that negative. Just bring that down. Like that. So as you can see, the answer for the second one, when we don't have a parenthesis, we have negative 25. And for the first one, we have a positive 25. So that's the big difference. And of course, sometimes maybe the parenthesis doesn't matter. So I will do this one in blue for you guys. Note, if today the question is asking us parenthesis negative 5 to the third power instead, and the other one, let's say, yeah, you guessed it, negative 5 without the parenthesis and then to the third power. Okay, let's see. For this one, the third power means we are going to write this down three times and then multiply it out. So we will have parentheses with negative 5 times parentheses, negative 5, right? And then negative 5. Okay. 5 times 5 times 5 gives us 125. But wait. Negative times negative is positive times another negative gives us negative. So the answer for this one is negative 125. And that's the way to compute it. For the second one, same idea. No parentheses, so the exponent 3 is only for the 5. So let me just emphasize that right here. Like this. Okay, 5 to the third power means we have to do 5 times 5 times 5. And we do have that negative, and this times only 1. So just bring that down. Well, well, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. But we still have a, a negative. Bring that down. So in this case, as you can see, the answers are both negative 125. And the reason is because we have an odd number power here. So this right here, you know, it's just like coincidental. Well, it just happened to be the same answer. But if you have an even power, you have to be really, really careful with how you interpret the parentheses. Because this right here, the answer is positive. This right here, the answer is negative, right? So hopefully this right here clears the usage of parentheses and then notation.